Paul Galchi always quotes the Bible and says it is good for a man to suffer the yoke in his youth. Man, I'm telling you, this is definitely worth it. Hey guys, Zan up here in the tree services. They have uh, fulfilled on their promise to bring their little bobcat case thing out and uh, drop some of these piles of wood chips. This guy's got almost all what 15 or so 20 of those wood chip piles dropped and they go all the way out there now I'll show you guys a little bit more in just a second when he's all done well it's been a couple weeks since they came out and dropped our wood chips for us and look at what a good job they did all those piles are gone all the piles back there are gone there's a new pal there, and a new pal there, which is very cool. We had to have them stop bringing wood chips out for a little bit because one of our neighbors, um, we'll call him Bob, that's not what we call him, but that's what we'll call him for the video, uh, called the Department of Making You Sad on us about all the piles of wood chips. So they came out, saw exactly what we were doing, and uh, they still had to send us the nasty gram, so we called them on Monday and they said, hey, you're good. Just talk to some other departments before you keep going. We called all them and now every department in the county knows what we are doing, why we are doing it, and they are happy that we are doing it for one reason or another. The only department that might have a little bit of a nutty is uh, maybe the fire department and that is if one of these piles spontaneously combusts and burns the whole county down. So, barring that, we're good. We went to a subscriber's house and checked out his garden, and it's awesome. I really wish he would do videos. But uh, there are some plants here. These are um, sunflowers and something I forgot and something I forgot. No, oh, that's sunflowers too. Something I forgot. I don't know what this one here is. But I'm sure he'll put it in the comments. It's one of the ones that he gave me. There's some sunflowers there. And he gave us a whole bunch of raspberries, which is the main reason why we went there. And some of them did okay, and some of them didn't did okay. We planted some the very first day when I got back, and it was really hot. And then the next day, we planted the other ones, and they're doing better, which is kind of weird, but okay. And then over here we planted the sunflowers and these things were so tiny when I got them. They were like to about here. And then over the last week or two, boom, they've jumped up. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we got wood chips coming out into this a little bit. You can see where the sprinkler line ends, right about here. So this is our zone right here for a uh, planting all the way that way to the tree line all the way out to the road and then that whole front there all the way down so that is going to be our first garden spot area let's see what else we got going on this pear tree I'm going to have to dig it up and take it back to Costco or something and just say hey because it is not doing anything at all. No new beds, no new nothing. Just D.E.D. -E -D. Yeah, this looks pretty much dead. So, maybe we'll get our money back or a new tree or something for that. Onions, still there. Blueberries, I took my super cool new, uh, what, German pruners and uh, my Felcos that I got and pruned up this, uh, all these berry bushes really and opened them up some. And now we got berries all over the place. Look at these clusters. See if we can get some in the light or in the shade, whatever it is. Here we go. So they're doing pretty good. All of these, even our Costco blueberry bush is doing really good. See all the blueberries growing on that. It's very happy here. Like all of these have really been pretty happy. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but uh, last year we planted the uh, potatoes here that we got from Paul's house. 
and then forgot about them when the plants grew up and were ready to harvest. We just never harvested them. And now we are coming back again, which is very cool. Got potatoes all along this here. We got uh, different potatoes there. Uh, let's see. There's some more here and there and there. Those are different ones that we planted last year and never harvested. So this is going to be, I guess, our little potato bed for now. I might decide to throw in some, uh, I don't know, zucchini or watermelon or something in here, some kind of melon. Uh, let's see what else. More onions. Here is a tomato plant that we got from, I don't really know, probably Home Depot or something. Our apple tree though, look at this, we got apples on this flavor and we have apples on this flavor here. So that's going to be what Liberties we have going and uh, these are Honey Crisp. Honey Crisp and Liberty so far. The other ones, uh, they're doing pretty good, but no apples yet. So we'll wait and see on those two. And we have a tomato plant here. Putting some tomatoes on. Over here we have the goji berries. Oh, good. These weren't doing so good for a while, but they got some growth on them now. That is some goodness. A good, good, good green. Here, we planted a new tomato, which the bunnies have decided to come and chomp. And here is a tomato plant that they haven't seen yet, but it hasn't really been growing that well. Same with this one here. But I'm sure that they will... Actually, this one here, I think both of these maybe were chomped all the way down by the bunnies last time and have come back up. That one didn't make it. And then over here, I don't know what kind of, these are the black ones the wife wanted. But look at this, black tomatoes, or whatever color they are. But she wanted them, there they are. That is awesome sauce. So that is a little garden for now. Let's go check on, ooh, corn. Look, the grass is greening up real nice. That is good. Plenty of birds out here. Saw three bunnies out in the grass this morning when I pulled in. I have all the quail running around. There's one that sits up here and taunts me right on that little bench there when I have the window open. and just sits there and makes a lot of noise at me. Uh, let's see, corn. This is one I planted when we first got it and then decided that I wasn't going to plant the other three. Forgot about them really, or four, whatever it is. But then I brought them out in one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So they'll grow or they won't. But that one seems to be doing pretty okay. And here is a grape that we bought at Home Depot or something and then left out on that little table right there for, I don't know, a couple weeks. And then I realized that, oh hey, it's got green on it. Maybe we should put that in the ground. So we might put that in the ground. All the mint is being minty. Starting to grow up. Uh, look, we got little bulbs here. From, oh, what did you guys call it? Was it lilac? I don't know. A couple of you guys told me what those were and I just wasn't paying attention enough. I see some red down here. What's going on with this? Ooh. Do I get the first strawberry of the year? That one there is kind of roached. Let's pull it. I think, don't tell the wife or baby girl, but. Mm. That was kind of sweet and tart. Oh, that was delicious. And I don't know what this is. I think it's something the wife planted, so this might be a mint of some kind. So we have strawberries, we have plants, we have mint, which will attract all the bees. Look, see, 
There's flying critters already in here. Even though there's no flowers yet. And over here is baby girl's little garden area. Oh, and plenty of strawberries here. Oh, look at this one right there. That one. Got strawberries all over the place in here. There's one right there. Oh, there's some big ones back here. Those are going to be nice. See, these ones get more sun than those ones get. So hers always do better. Let's see, anything else? Oh, I am going to Paul's house for the first tour of the year, which is June Sunday. Um, hold on. Let me check the videotape here. Open calendar. It will be June 4th, 2.30 at, uh, oh God, let's see if I can do this from memory. 411 Craig Road or Craig Avenue or Craig Drive or something like that. Squim, Washington, uh, 2.30, first tour of the year. Come out and see me, come out and see Paul. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. So that is that. Um, anything else? I'm thinking not so much. I have some other stuff going on like I'm rebuilding my uh, little cargo trailer there. It's not impressive at all, but I'm happy with it. I'm impressed by what I do. Uh, here, I found a tote from when we brought all those potatoes and the fig trees and stuff, the starts, over from last year. I've had a whole tote there full of uh, compost from Paul's uh, chicken pen. I haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet or not, but maybe. Maybe uh, on these raspberries to give them a little bit of a boost. I don't know what their drama is. But some of them look like they're doing, starting to do okay at least. This one needs to be picked up. But other than that, I got nothing. So that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys on the next one.